Hi, this is John here. This is tutorial number one for the uh, SparkFun Inventors Kit, or basically how to connect your computer to the Arduino so that you can get started. By the end of this, we're going to be able to push a program to the Arduino and get a light to blink. Just a simple quick test to make sure that everything's connected right. So first step is getting the software that you need onto your computer. So if you go to arduino.cc, I'll put the link up there, and then go Downloads. I'm running Windows, so I'll be doing the Windows installer. So I'll just pause here while we do this. Right, there we go. We've got the uh, Windows installer program. Let's open that up. Just check through this. It should be right. Click install. Install this additional driver for it. Close that. Alright, so we should have the software on our computer now. So if I go Arduino, there it is. So let's start that up. So here, this is the Arduino IDE. Uh, basically, it's the programming interface. It's, it's how we connect to it. So a couple things about this before we um, go and connect the Arduino up. So this area here is for where you write code. We'll talk about um, the syntax, like the structure of how you write code in a little bit. Um, after you're done, you click verify, and then you can push it to the device. So this is upload, the new, opening existing ones and saving other ones. So before we can continue, we need to um, connect an Arduino and um, set that up. So I'll just grab the Arduino and... So now we're just going to connect the USB board to the computer using uh, the mini USB cable. So one end to the computer, one end to the board. Green light indicates that we've got power. That's good. Um, the blue LED uh, probably flashes because there's already a program in there that flashes this onboard um, light that's connected to pin 13. Cool. Plug that in. Okay, now that you've uh, connected it in, just got to configure the software to be able to talk to it. So the first thing is, if you go to Tools, Board, we need to pick the type of board that it is. And this one is the Arduino Uno. So we know what type of board it is, now we need to tell the computer how it's connected. So if we go serial port, since I'm on Windows, mine is probably going to be different to yours. COM is actually, a long time ago, uh, you had COM ports, and so now, with new technology, we fake them. This one has just come up as COM20, yours is going to be different. If you're running a Mac or a Linux machine, it's going to be something along the lines of like dev slash TTY USB modem, but basically if we connect that, and so you can see in the bottom corner it goes Arduino Uno connected to COM20. Let's try to push something to it. Go to examples, basic, blink. So this is the code that's probably already in there. You can see it's connected to the LED that's connected to the pin 13. So if we upload that, it's probably not going to make any difference, but then we're just going to make sure that it uploads correctly, and it does. And now what we can do is we can start to change a couple things. Hit that 500, push upload. And you'll see that the, the light is on and off for a different um, time period now. Just having a look through this, uh, this is a loop, so it continuously goes through this. It writes to the LED, go high, which is on. Wait 500, so half a second, 500 milliseconds. And then turn the LED off, put it low, then wait one second. So when you have a look at the light, you'll see that it's on for a shorter time than it's off. And so we can change that around and make it a little bit more obvious as well. So if we change this to 2, so it's on for 2 seconds, off for half a second, push that. All right. 
when we look at it now, you can see that it's on for a lot longer than it is off. So this just verifies that the board is, is working, everything's ready, and we're ready for the next step. We can go get additional codes and samples that we're going to be working through from uh, SparkFun themselves. So if you open up your browser again and go to sparkfun.com slash SIK code, Downloads straight, aren't they nice? And then if we uh, go to where the, the program is actually installed, so basically we need to get this code into our um, Arduino installation folder. So if we go, so we need to locate that. So it's going to be C drive, program files, 86, Arduino. And in the examples. So this example folder lines up with what you just saw here, file examples. So these are um, a, a code provided by others to, to get you started. I might have a few additional ones here um, because I've installed some others. So now we need to get this into here, drag that across there, and that's done. We might need to have to stop. program to be able to do it. We're looking for a spark fun. No, I'm going to need to stop it. There it is. And so these are going to be um, the circuits that we're going to step through. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope you've um, got a working board right about now. And uh, we'll move on to the next. Cheers. Bye.